Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, July the 9th, 2011. It's a year one, proper nine, and week one of the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 17, and 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 17 to 30. <laughs> Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Alleluia. Psalm 17. My God, hear a cause that is just, and pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer, no deceit is on my lips. From you may my judgment come forth. Your eyes discern the truth. You search my heart. You visit me by night. You test me, and you find in me no wrong. My words are not sinful like human words. I kept from violence because of your word. I kept my feet firmly in your paths. There was no faltering in my steps. I am here, and I call. You will hear me, O God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my words. Display your great love, you whose right hand saves your friends from those who rebel against them. Guard me as the apple of your eye, and hide me in the shadow of your wings from the violent attack of the wicked. My foes encircle me with deadly intent. Their hearts are tight shut, their mouths speak proudly. They advance against me, and now they surround me. Their eyes are watching to strike me to the ground, as though they were lions ready to claw, or like some young lion crouched in hiding. Most high, rise and confront them and strike them down, and let your sword rescue me from the wicked. Let your hand rescue me from those whose reward is in the present life. You give them there all of your treasure. They rejoice in abundance of offspring and leave their wealth to their children. As for me, in my justice I shall see your face, and be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 17, beginning at verse 17. Jesse said to his son David, Take for your brothers an ephah of this parched grain and these ten loaves, and carry them quickly to the camp to your brothers. And also take these ten cheeses to the commander of their thousand. See how your brothers fare, and bring some token from them. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. David rose early in the morning and left the sheep with the keeper, took the provisions, and went, to Jess, went as Jesse commanded him. And he came to the encampment as the army was going forth into the battle, shouting the war cry. Israel and the Philistines drew up for battle, army against army. David left the things in charge of the keeper of the baggage and ran to the ranks and went and greeted his brothers. As, a, as he talked with him, the champion of the Philistines of Gath, Goliath by name, came up out of the ranks of the Philistines and spoke the same words as before. And David heard him. And all the Israelites, when they saw the man, fled from him and were very much afraid. The Israelites said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defy Israel. The king will greatly enrich the man who kills him, and will give him his daughter and make his family free in Israel. David said to the men who stood by him, What shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and who takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him in the same way, So shall it be done for the man who kills him. Now his eldest brother Elab heard him talking to the men, 
And Elab's anger was kindled against David. He said, Why have you come down? With whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your presumption and the evil of your heart, for you have come down just to see the battle. And David said, What have I done now? It was only a question. And he turned away from him toward another and spoke in the same way. And the people answered him again as before. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls. For peace in Jerusalem and in the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church, and for the unity of all. For Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and people. For Barack, our president, and for the leaders of the nations, for all in authority. For the good earth which God has given, and for the wisdom and the will to conserve it. For the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie. For the widowed and the orphaned, and for the sick and the suffering. Especially Stephen Michael and Melody. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute. For prisoners and captives, for all who remember and care for them. For deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation. Defend us and deliver us, and in your compassion protect us, O Lord, by your grace. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the Church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.